You probably clicked on this video because you're currently working on the common application, the activity section, and you're really confused and overwhelmed about how can I fill this out the right way. If you're new to my channel, be sure to click on the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when I release new videos on college admission strategies, essay tips, and application strategies. When I was in high school, I still remember having to fill out college applications, both common application and the UC application and thinking, okay, how do I fill this out so that I'm not making any mistakes? My number one concern was which activity do I put in here? Do I talk about the ones that I personally love or should I talk about activities that will help me demonstrate my academic capacity? I was also confused about which activity do I put in the beginning of the list or which one do I synthesize together? You know, there's so many micro questions that come up when filling out the common application, the activity section. And the most annoying part is that the description box for filling out the activity section is very limiting. So it's not like you have a lot of space to talk about your activity as, as well. And yes, it's frustrating. A lot of questions, a lot of confusions. So today I'm going to walk you through how to fill out the activity section of your common application step by step so that you do it the right way and you get accepted into your dream college. And don't worry, you're in good hands. I attended UCLA, transferred to USC, got accepted into Harvard Graduate School of Education. I also helped more than 500 students get accepted into their dream colleges. So you're in good hands. You can trust me. Let's get started. Tip number one is for you to utilize action verbs. I see a lot of students use general verbs like attended, went. A lot of the verbs that doesn't really help us understand that you've taken leadership roles or that you've done something great. So a couple of action verb suggestions are as follows. Communicated, corresponded, networked, monitored, developed, evaluated, executed, prioritized, oversaw, streamlined, compiled, researched, compounded, initiated, measured, evaluated, developed, incorporated. In the description box down below, I'm going to list a couple of my favorites that I've recommended to my students. So go ahead and check that out so that you can utilize those action verbs when writing your description box. Tip number two is a continuation of my tip number one. So when you're writing inside the description box, obviously you want the action verb that I just mentioned, and then you want to follow up with details that are very results oriented. So instead of saying I attended four meetings per month, you, you want to say something like we raised over $400 for the, fun, the semi-annual fundraiser. When you provide the description that is much more results oriented, they have a better idea as to what you were able to accomplish and what you were able to create instead of just telling them what they already know. Here's a couple of examples that I'd like to share with you so you have a better idea as to what I'm talking about here. Contributed statistical and research backstopping for a federally funded grant project. Planned, marketed, and oversaw a summer camp for 250 local underrepresented children. Analyzed and reviewed patient medical records. Developed analytics that laid the foundation for program designs and strategies for two major cities. As you can see, all the descriptions that I'm mentioning to you here, they're very results driven. I know exactly what you did and what you were able to accomplish. Every description has some sort of a numerical value, although that's not necessary. If you can provide that information, that'll give a better idea as to how much work you put into each activity. My third tip is to use semicolons. So sometimes I see students writing a complete sentence in the description box and that's completely not necessary because you don't have space and we just can't afford to do that, right? So after you use an action verb and then you follow up with a results driven description, then you want to put a semicolon and then put in another action verb and another results description. Before we go on to our next tip, comment down below what other questions you have about the common application section and I'll be able to help you out there. 
tip number four is that order does matter. So what I mean by this is when you are listing out the 10 activities in the common application section, you want to list them in the order of relevance and importance. So you want to pick out activities that mean a lot to you, activities that you are really passionate about, and activities that align with your major, right? So usually my students would have uh, their passion project or some sort of a app that they created or a business they, they started, something very unique and related to their major in the very first section of the, the list. And then the second one, they put in volunteering because they've done it for three to four years and they're really passionate about helping students. And so you really want to list them in the order of importance so that um, you will catch their attention and they'll sort of get to see that you are academically very active as well as volunteer wise and also in other areas and interests and hobbies of yours as well. So order is important. So make sure that that's what you put. So for instance, for the first activity, you don't want to just put in like, you know, soccer, even though you only played soccer for one year or you put in a volunteering club at your school, even though you only attended two meetings. So you don't want that to be the first one. Um, so definitely something to consider. Tip number five is that you want to max out on all 10 activities. So you want to max out that space because it's another opportunity to show them who you are, what you like, what you've participated in so far. And obviously you don't want to list out all 10 when three of them are just very similar, right? So if you did band and you did piano and you did another instrument, let's say flute, you don't need to list all of them out because at the end of the day, they know that you played an instrument and that you were very musically talented and active. So you can combine them all together. What I mean by listing out all 10 is to really show different sides of who you are. A little bit of academic, a little bit of volunteering, a little bit of summer program that aligns with your major and something else that you're truly interested in. So you want to max out all 10 spaces. And when there's two to three empty spaces, it just doesn't look good. And if you want to just squeeze out everything that you've done so far, you know, during your high school years. So make sure that you fill all 10 out because that's been the best strategy for my students as well. Tip number six is don't tell them what they already know. So let's say that you're a secretary of ASB, which is like the student body government or any student council programs you guys have at your school. In the description box, I see students making this mistake of writing something that we already know about what secretaries do. So they'll say, we, um, I took minutes, I organized the notes, um, I assisted the vice president and things like that. And those are very general information. And what colleges want to know is what kind of role did you take? And so this is when you really want to go back to my tip number one and two and find an action verb and find a results oriented description so that you tell them, you know, as a secretary, I was able to produce this much result. Or as a secretary, I was able to create a new program. Or as a secretary, I was able to create, a, create and implement a new minute system using Google Docs, right? So you want to show them what is it that you did that's different from other secretaries. And that's going to be the huge differentiator when you're submitting your common application activity section. At the end of the day, colleges want to know who you are, not what your job was all about. So here's my last tip, and this is really the most important one. The activities that you incorporate into your list number one, two, and three, those are the ones that aligned with your major, those are the ones that you are really passionate about. You should definitely mention them in more detail in your common application essay, as well as your supplemental essays. Because if you think about it, colleges are going to think, well, if you're so passionate about the, all the activities that you've done, then why don't you talk about it? Why don't you talk about why it was so important to you, why you decided to go for this activity and what lessons you've gained along the way. And so you need to expand on those activities. Otherwise, they'll be really confused. You know, you're telling us you did this for three years, let's, let's get an example, right? Let's say you started a blog and you ran the blog for three years and you've done it for a long time. It shows that you're passionate, you're dedicated and you're mentioning it on, inside the common application activity section. But why aren't you talking about the why factor in your supplemental essays and in your common application essay, right? So you really wanna make sure that whatever you put in your common application activity section, number one, two, and three, that they are also reflected in your essays as well so that you have more room to, to share the deeper lessons you've gained along the way. 
So I'm going to walk you through one example with you so that you have an idea as to how to implement my tips. So I'm going to choose the activity type and what I want to work on is community service. My position is president and let's say the organization name is Reading Partners. Please describe this activity. And so this is where I had mentioned previously that you need to put in your action verbs and results oriented description. So I'm going to say implemented by weekly uh, reading sessions to fourth grade students, semicolon, raise $500 from t-shirt fundraiser semicolon integrated a new literacy assessment something like that right so as you can see there's a lot more space actually there's about six more characters that you could put in and when you do come across this dilemma you do want to max it out so then what I could do is I could just get rid of this. Um, okay, so participated. I participated this in 10th grade, 11th and 12th. I participated in this activity all year. Hours spent per week, I would say I spent about three hours per week. And how many weeks you spent per year? I'm going to say that I participated in 48 weeks, ex excluding like the holidays and Christmas time. I intend to participate in similar activity in college, definitely yes. And then I'll go ahead and click continue. And then what you'll see in the activity section is it's really neat, right? Um, I know there's a lot of numbers, there's a lot of proper nouns, very results oriented. I it, it looks like I know what I'm talking about, right? And that's the goal that we're going for. And this is all neat as well. So here's an example for you. I hope that was helpful. So I also have a couple of questions that came in from my students and my community. And so I thought these questions will also help you out as well. So let me go ahead and answer them for you. Number one, what if the activity I do is for pleasure? So that really depends on how many activities you currently have on your activity section. But what you could do is if you really want to include it and if it's something that you really love to do, you can still put it inside the list. But I wouldn't put it as like your number one or number two or number three, possibly like number seven or eight or number nine around there. But if it's an activity that you did for a pleasure, and you did for leisure and you it's a big part of who you are then i don't see why not and you should put them in but make sure that you focus on the the results oriented description right so instead of just saying let's say that you love doing um, digital art instead of just saying you know practice digital art on my ipad you want to turn that around into a results driven description so you could say published four digital art pieces per year, semicolon, distributed my art to this website, semicolon, um, sold three pieces to a online consumer this past year and generated $100 revenue or something like that, right? So even though it is a leisure activity, you're really turning it into something that sounds businessy, something that sounds like you have this like leadership skill and you're very entrepreneurial and creative, right? So it really depends on how you write the description box, which is something that's really important. Number two, what if I participated in an activity for three years, but only started the leadership position during my senior year, you could just go ahead and put in the, the, the last title, the most recent title you have under the position and title box. And then inside the description box, you can let them know that you were a member for three years and then you could go ahead and start with the action verbs and the results oriented description number three what if i have more than 10 activities try to condense the similar activities together or really ask yourself this question does this activity bring me a lot of joy and happiness and is this something that i really want to do if that's not a clear yes then drop it and the last question is, do you always check to intend to participate? Okay, so there is a 
question that asks you for each activity do you intend to participate in this even after you never know if you will or not but if you think it's a 50 50 just go ahead and check that you will participate because you might or you might not right but if you know for a fact let's say you're not going to participate in mun anymore because you will no longer be in that club then you could go ahead and check no but for volunteering summer programs or anything that's really related to your interest and passion i would go ahead and check um, intend to participate in the future as well. How simple is that, you guys, right? It's really simple, doable. There is a clear strategy to go about filling out the common application activity section. I hope that this gave you a lot of support and information that you really needed because I know I felt really frustrated when I was in high school, so I just wanted to give you this strategy and advice. If you need further support writing your college essays, working on your application, and just overall college admission strategy if you're not a senior right now, feel free to book a free 45-minute strategy session with me. We'll all go ahead and map out what you need to work on, what how you can improve your essay, and much more. The link will be down below. Also, we have a Facebook group community called Conquer College Admissions where I share daily blog posts, new information, application deadline, resources, and much more. So check that out. Our group is called Conquer College Admissions, and that link will also be down below. If you need inspiration and clarity while navigating through the college admissions process and you really don't know, like, what is it that I really like? What is it that I really want to do with my life? What major interests me, you know? If you need more of that clarity, um, go ahead and also check out my podcast, Demystifying College Admissions, where we invite guests over from all industries and we talk about um, college admission process, how to find your career, calling, passion, growth mindset, and much more. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share it with your friends because I'm pretty sure that this information is something that a lot of people are looking for. All right, everyone, I'll be back here next week. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you soon. Good luck on all of your college admission essays and applications.